Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made it? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. What's good with y'all? Aight, so what are we getting into today? So there, we're about to be, who's that? I hear something outside. What is this? Oh, uh, we got FedEx here. I think FedEx is dropping off the Viper wheels. It, I think this is it. This is definitely the Viper wheel. Can't show y'all that. That's gonna be another video and we throw them on here, but yes, the wheels are finally here. So what's up? Uh, today we're gonna be linking on with our boy Jengi. He has something planned out that he's been wanting me to do and come along with him. He wants to connect some dots. So ever since I got the 6'4", Jengi's been wanting me to come with him to basically see this old place that he used to work at. Uh, I think they've been trying to get him to come back or something like that. But Jengi swears that they build the best muscle cars probably in California. He was like, there's nobody out here better than them. So that's a bold statement. And if Jenky's saying it, you guys seen his, the quality of his work, his fabrication. If he's saying it, they must do dope stuff. So that's what we're gonna be getting into. Uh, taking y'all along for the ride with me and we gonna see if Jenky's overhyping or if the hype is real. Hi, what's good? I am currently here at Vargas Turbos. This is where my boy janky has been working at. That man does all their like production stuff for all their BMW, Supra, Manifold, Turbo kits and all that stuff. Uh, currently, as of right now, Vargas actually holds the record when it comes to like these newer style BMWs. They just took the record back. Somebody had beat them, then they went back, literally made some changes with the new setup and took the record back. Uh, I'm not sure if it was this car or another car, but I know this car is fast as fuck right here. I think this is the, uh, the owner's personal car. This thing's a street car, daily driver. You can see, look, has seats and everything in there, the back seats full cage granted you can't get nothing in there other than probably some groceries but take a sneak peek i don't even know where the hood latch is on this thing no no i, I don't know how to open this shit all right we got the mastermind right here what's up fool you know what i'm saying the fabricator you gonna pop the hood i'm trying to figure out how to pop this thing it needs a button to pop it or right, the hood's yeah, already lifted you pull it two times oh yeah Never mind then. Yeah. This ain't the world record one, right? Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah. What did it run? You never know by looking at it on. Huh? Nah, fuck, <laughs> that thing has everything. So this is the one that broke the record. It did 190 and a half. And then it was the fastest quarter mile car for a brief moment, but somebody broke that. But we just haven't been back to the track yet to break that again. So I broke the half mile. Yeah, he just dynoed it, made it a little over our I think he was almost at 1300 horsepower and uh what model is this pushing a little coolant it's a g80 m3 g80 m3 i'll be telling my boy fresh kicks he need to contact y'all if he really want to be fast like nigga, my nigga janky bro my nigga janky be building all the fastest <laughs> shit in the world you feel me when i got here came over here like one time you feel me and all of a sudden he's like ah, i'm making turbo kiss and then ah, world breaking world record breaking baby yeah, come see me what's that one there for uh, custom custom turbo shit too i already made a I already made a turbo kit for that one. Damn, you are such a BMW guy now. <sighs> Never would have thought, that's for sure. Are they really that dope? Didn't you see, have you seen this one? No. Oh, that's neat. You know how long it took me to figure that shit out, dude? I was over there time. reaching through all the gills and shit. When I had uh, my other shop and Tony dropped off his Supra so I could build a turbo kit for that. I was like, dude, how in the fuck? Like, I popped it and I was like looking for hell <laughs> long trying to find shit. Peasant shit, you know, when you're used to working on Japanese shit boxes and hey. American cars. So this one doesn't have your upgraded intercooler set up on it, huh? No, we got uh, an intercooler coming for it because um, I got to make different charge pipes for different setups. And there's several different intake setups that will have charge pipes for everything. Hmm. 
What precision is this? Uh, it's a little guy. I can't remember. It might be a 64-66. That's the one I want. Maybe. Oh. Or it's a like, 68-70. I want a 6466. I can't remember. So what's this making? Uh, 755, 700. Hmm. So it's still stock motor, stock transmission. Damn. So got to be conservative. So I need this on camera. You said if I get one of these newer BMWs. A G80, not one of these. Whatever. These Y'all are, are going to sponsor the build. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're going to do it and I'm going to go gap kicks. And I'm going to claim I'm the fastest YouTuber on, I'm the fastest YouTuber in a G80. <laughs> <laughs> this is journal, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you can fill it. The other one outside is ball bearing. Yeah. You can hella fill it. Look at all that. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. It does look good. What are you talking about? It does. I'm super not happy with it. So I had a contaminated bottle of argon and I just couldn't get the fucking welds to like not look so shitty. What are you talking about? These welds look good. Yeah, I'm not happy with it at all. Come on, focus. There we go. Fuck ass. <laughs> Fuck ass. <laughs> so this is the electronic actuator that goes on the straight gate setup. So th these are the brackets that we made for the straight gates. It's right here. I thought I had one that wasn't in the box. Oh. Street gate. Yeah, so this is how we're ordering them now without all the fucking stupid actuator shit on. So we don't need that. So anyways, well this goes on here, but you can change it different directions so that way it'll fit where it's supposed to go. This goes in here, this goes on here. That keeps y'all from losing like all the factory uh like uh, what you call it, traction control, control and everything? Yes, yeah, so you got factory, like your traction control, launch control, boost by gear, everything all still works. So it's just, it fits on here. It actually goes down like this, but uh, works really well. And then this is our, uh, this is a boost controller for it, for people that want to use it with anything else. Hmm. Any other, uh, any ECU, anything with a PWM, like a pulse width monitor signal. Mm -hmm. Any standalone will work with it. And then this is just, we, we're gonna have all terminated ends and shit, but this is all in development. We're just now barely Just behind the scenes. Yeah. It's all new stuff. So look at this thing. Jeez. All right, and where are we going? What shop are we going to? East Bay Muscle Cars. East Bay Muscle Cars. Janky, Janky said he swears that they build the sickest old school cars yeah. out here. Oh, Vargas yeah. Turbos, focus. They didn't focus, bro. It's cool a good camera, stuff. you gotta wait. Ah. Cool guy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so you say East Bay Muscle Cars is like your number one old school shop, you think? By far. I mean, there's and, a lot of good people out there, don't get me wrong, but they are and anywhere anywhere around the bay area i would say they are for like muscle car shit i don't think they they don't do shit like roy brizio and like old school hot rod shit that like your grandpa's into and you know <laughs> but uh i don't know i mean the muscle car scene it's changing everything's like it's more rat rod now for sure the muscle car scene is like what like 32 Fords and shit like that were to us. Mm -hmm. That's like what muscle cars are, I feel like, to the younger generation, you know, the generation below us. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be like us that are into them and then to them, they're probably not really that much into them. They're gonna be into, like to them. They're gonna be into Hellcats. To, to them, 5.0s <laughs> are old schools, you know? It's like, fuck you, man, I had that in high school. <laughs> it's not old. All right, so apparently we're gonna be taking this thing. We get to drive this uh, where we're going. Uh, this is gonna be my first time even riding in one of these things. My first little experience to see will he be able to convert me? I just bit my lip. Ah, oh, am I bleeding? I just bit my shit trying to talk to y'all.
Bully the vet. <laughs> this thing picks up nice. Yeah. This thing makes Oh, he said he wanted it. <laughs> Whoa! <Yeah. laughs> He's about to be like me in the SE. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Trash control don't work that great. It's off right now. <laughs> I don't like leaving on that. It's a little too intrusive. This thing feels good. Fuck, that wasn't even like even really all the way on it. No. I can tell. Yeah. It's feathering and shit. Yep. Now the tires on this thing aren't very good. It spins them too easy. Like even at fifth gear on the freeway, it'll still spin them. So you think the G80 is smoother than this? Absolutely. Yeah. Better trans or what? Yeah, well, it depends on normal automatic eight speed. Oh, so these have DCTs. Mm -hmm. And then the other one's just a regular eight speed? But wouldn't yeah, this one shift faster? They hella better and all that shit. No, the other one shifts hella fast too. I mean, maybe if this does shift faster, you can't really tell. Mm -hmm. There may be some technical data that somebody will tell me I'm wrong and I'm a fucking idiot and I don't know anything, but. She'd be like, well, our G80's faster than when our... you're driving around on the freeway trying to race a bit that won't race you, it doesn't really matter how fast it shifts, now does it? <laughs> All right, just pulling up. East Bay Muscle Cars, which Janky considers the number one old school shop in California. I've never been to the new shop yet. Dang, all these trophies, that's a good sign, right? Trophies galore, they got dogs. Bro. Hey, come in, I'm showing you, we're fucking winners here. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, trophies on trophies. And your must car beauty, look, all kind of trophies. Right, yeah. How you doing? Oh, <laughs> I know what my dog Sniffy, so she doesn't go dessert. Good. How you guys doing? Michael. Hi, Hi I'm Laura. Mike. Nice to meet you. Steve. What's up, how you doing? Good, good. Hey, come on. Yeah, the new digs. Yeah, it's my first time uh, seeing this place. That's it's pretty, pretty, cool. pretty yeah, exciting. Cool. Yeah. A whole lot we, different. We were freaking moving until... December 31st. Yeah. Still moving. Oh, cool. Last a, box a, out there. a lot of stuff, yeah. <laughs> so, quick question. Are these all cars that you guys built? Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. yeah, yeah that, I mean, it's only a small portion of them. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That, that one was built for Buster Posey, that Mustang right there in the end. That guy's coming out. Jeez. Have you ever seen him on social media? Oh, what's your name on social media? Mike Mike. Mike Mike, Mike let me go. Oh, there. yeah. I think I know. Is it Mikey? What's the? Not Mike, Mike, M I K E, M Y K E. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm so nice, you guys. Say it twice. <laughs> M I K E, then M Y K E. God, dude, this is beautiful. Yeah, you know that, you know that car, pretty intimate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty intimate. Yeah, right here. Was like... <laughs> you was here when they built this one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was built. Oh yeah. Two thousand. It was debuted in two thousand twelve. Jeez. Yeah. That was the. Calibate. Thrash session to get that thing to. Columbus. Or Mike Mike official. Too. Yeah, that's good. Uh, actually, Bruh, it's not it's just metal work. Sitting in a garage and that's the end of it. You do metal work like this, you ain't never offered it for one of my cars, man? You yeah, <laughs> don't have that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do now. You definitely didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I'll give you a quick, quick tour. Yeah, here. sorry, we finished up the move last weekend. So that's good. Yeah, we still got shit everywhere. That's uh, gonna go in the cab. We have a des designated cab room now. This is a race car right here. This is oh, this is? Yeah. Personal car? Uh -huh. I like this. I like that. Yeah. Patina vibe. Yeah. Is it wrapped on the front? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole car is wrapped. Hmm. Oh, cool. It's out in the shop, actually. They're working on it tonight. Oh, yeah. We're gonna check it out. That we did right here. We named it the business card. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the first one. The very first build. Yeah, if you try to do a water move, then you... That was our car. Everything else is for customers. Yeah, he's been he's been talking about you guys for a long time. He was like, I used to work there. He's like, hands down, if you want an old school build, they're the best in the business. I'm like, so he's like, come with me and come check it out. I'm like, all right, today I'm coming. Most of the time we have to glue them all together. Like we put yeah. this whole freaking thing here yeah. for the 16 Camaro we're doing with the tractors and headlight bars and all that. That's dope. And so we actually printed this whole thing up here and glued it together and make sure it's going to work and looks like it wants, you know, and then, uh, and then we'll sub it out. But I'm getting ready to buy a big one because we're going to start trying to do interior panels and stuff in the house. Mm. So, so what do you do from this point? What's the next step? So then 
now that we have a design that we want, actually, we made this 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 was like too high, so we wanted to make it a little more subtle. Mm -hmm. But uh, now I'll just send it out, and have it all machined, and uh, three, or and or three D printed. So I think we're gonna three D print the grill part, but the rest of it's all gonna be built in. Hmm. It's gonna be a, so they're just gonna scan it to build it. I don't need to scan it. We already have. Files. Oh, you already have a file. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just send the files to them. All right, coming into the showroom. Urchin is showing up today. <laughs> That's how you notice know is a good shot, man. The floors are clean. <laughs> They're not. This Jesus. Place is actually kind of messy right now. Uh, yeah, uh, it's disgusting. Uh, Say, so your wife was telling me this is your this is your personal car, right? What's that? Your wife was saying this is your personal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see. I it's, it's an eight mile car. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what LS is in this? It's a tall deck LSX block. It's 442. 442, okay. Um, and then it's got the Copo Camaro, the LS7 based heads, but they're an over the counter race head. Mm -hmm. So a recast? Yeah, it's a full off one off head. Or not one off, but just over the counter race head. Okay. It's like 2200 horsepower. Sheesh. Oh shit, coyote swapped. It's metal work, man. Bruh. Yeah, I don't, I don't got the money to afford none of this. Like they do metal work on everything, bruh. Like even like reworking the bed. <laughs> you said the back corner? The back one. I'm not an EV fan, but that car's sick. I'm gonna check it out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the. Uh, this ain't the DeLorean, is it? Yeah. Shit, right here. <laughs> this is a, a '56 Mercedes 190 SL, all stock. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. stock. Doing a full restoration on it. What part of the car is left? Um, <laughs> the cowl, the door. Um, so we've already taken all this sheet metal and we've already raised the quarter panels up an inch and a half. The wheel wells are up like an inch and a half. Hmm. These things always look super dumpy in the back. I mean, literally this line was like on the top of the wheel it always looked like it was this look like shit so yeah we, tucked under it so we raised everything up it's already done um, so that's the render of it that's the render okay um and it looks identical to the front yeah we got we got everything lined up um, <laughs> bruh this is insanery hey, look at this fab work <laughs> that's how you know janky is the truth they want my men's back. <laughs> this thing's gonna have an electric motor in it. That's crazy. And then look, this thing's all down the metal. Probably like reshaping everything up. There you go. Bunch of metal work. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna. Ooh, I see twin skis. <laughs> Bruh. This is crazy. This is like a fabrication, fabrication heaven right here. Oh my God. Look, everything here has custom shaped firewalls. Man, look, look at the rear section. Like nothing's left factory in like any of these. <laughs> yeah, both well, chassis, this one did a P50 supercharged. Corvette next to it's getting the same player. What year is this? This one's a 68, that one's a 70. That one's getting all sorts of things. LT4? Oh, that's what the dots are for? Yeah. When y'all scan them? Yeah. Okay. No, it's a style thing. I thought he was into, into polka dots. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta dig into these, so we went. You know how you see these things flare it out? They're usually just freaking stubby right yeah. there. So yeah. we, uh, Oh, cool. We're, We're coming door. into the door. We yeah. trimmed the door back, and so the weather strip will be right up to the edge, and mm -hmm. then we'll fill all this in so we can get a little bit of definition yep. there. Because they always look like shit. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 
See the red guts. Say I built this a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. God, this thing is beautiful. LS3 or 7? It's a LS3, the 5 and a quarter horse crate motor. Hmm. Man, y'all do all the uh, uh, tubs and everything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we built all of those. Like, y'all metal work is beautiful. It's crazy, like, when you go to shows and stuff, like, you don't see stuff like this out there at shows. For the most part. Yeah. yeah. This is like different. It's like some shit that'll be in like Jay Leno's garage. What's, what's <laughs> funny is none of these customers are into car shows. Uh, my customers are not into car shows at all. Just into collecting them? Yeah, they just want to collect them and drive them. Yeah, this is like different level I mean, of... I don't know, Mike showed we, we got done with, uh, we just got done with this Mustang we gave you, the SEMA. Pretty insane. It's absolutely crazy. I haven't seen it. Absolutely crazy. But, uh, he doesn't uh, care about car shows. He just wants to drive it. You know, and it's like a freaking over, well over a million dollars last time when we did that. You know, I want to take it to all the shows, and he's like, I just, I just want to drive it, you know? Like, <laughs> I go, let's go to some shows first, you know? <laughs> Man, this is nice. Interior's immaculate. Bruh. I'm sorry, but this is like, man, the bills they do in here are insane, bro. Say, so I just finished this one up. This was actually built at another shop like 15 years ago. And then we got it, redid the whole engine, drivetrain, suspension. And man, this color is nice. Wheels and tires. This one's a little more blingy than the normal do, but... I love how y'all do like the gloss on the outside and then flat like matte on the inside on the engine bay. Looks good. Yeah, I always like to try to get it to just kind of blend in and let the engine be the centerpiece. Yeah. The stuff's... If it's shiny, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Nah, this looks good. It's like super tasteful. I love the color too. Good 3D printed like this filler piece. That's oh, not this 3D printed? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Man, this thing's beautiful. So just to show y'all, because everything here isn't cookie cutter. Every one of these cars actually has a render that the customer gets to see before the cars are done. So the render for this one is that twin turbo setup. And then you come look at this guy right here. And then render for this. Like every single one of these cars has their own render. Y'all already seen it for the little old school Mercedes thing over there. Then for those that are wondering about the Corvettes over there, bam, there's the renders for those. Bruh, I came in here to take a piss. And even the bathroom is fucking clean in here. What the fuck, bruh? Bruh. If they got hot water, it is over. If they have hot water, bruh, they even have hot water. <laughs> Yo, this is by far the cleanest bathroom I've ever seen at a shop. And y'all got hot water, what? Man. Working for him is when I realized like, oh, you can have a shop it doesn't have a disgusting ass mechanic at it. <laughs> and after that, I was, I was new. Alright, man, we getting ready to shake right now. It's Cut my seat warmer on, warm my ass. Cold out here. Alright, what's good, what's good, my peeps? Just getting home. Let me say big, big, big shout out. Thank you very much to my boy, Mike Janky, for taking me over there, man. Just connecting the dots and introducing me to uh, Steve and everybody over there. Definitely was a great experience. Like, I'm mind blown with like how clean those cars were, man. Like, that's just like, it, stuff like that and seeing quality like that is just like, man, it's mind blowing. It's definitely motivating. 
you know, Janky wanted me to go over there. He wanted to connect some dots, introduce me to Steve, the owner. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Uh, definitely motivation, feel way more motivated to, you know, do some cool shit to my cars. But with that being said, man, I'm about to wrap it up. So I actually got to continue with this video, but I'm about to be starting another video because I am going to be going to pick up the LSG today. But hopefully you guys enjoy. I greatly appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always rocking with your boy. Till the next time, we out.